moved to another red sun tutorial today i'll be showing you a very very cool door well actually two doors um inspired by the concept by Phenoman. so go check out his channel and his video will be in the description and yeah he's just awesome he makes a lot of concepts and yeah just a bunch of red sun guys so i would just go show off this door that you've been staring at for all about 40 seconds so as you can see it opens and if you have some patience and stand here you'll appear to be on the second floor so basically there's six double piston extenders there and then two two doors on either end and then you can also walk through without any problem so it doesn't actually close on close on you so yeah as you can see you can go on to the second floor it's massively compact and i would suggest building this because this is just really awesome and yeah it's yeah i'll just show off these two builds before i do the tutorial so here's my second one so let's just go over here this one is much more recommended because it looks much cooler it does appear to glitch but i've tested it on many servers and it does work even on the spd by suzuma void so yeah um it's opening from both sides as you can see the sequence is very cool it opens like this opens first this opens second this opens last and vice versa for this side so yeah you can walk through without any problem you actually won't take any damage if you get crushed because then you will move through the pistons and it's just really cool so the redstone is actually fairly tight it does use quite a lot of repeaters as you can see and yeah you can actually make this from one one way so from this side to that side not from that side to this side so if you only make it one way then it makes it much more easier to build because you would you wouldn't need that much repeaters you would save about six more repeaters if you don't if you use only one way so yeah it's really cool so keep watching if you want the tutorial what you need to start off with is just a platform flooding midair with two push plates so then you want to make your entrance which i'll just quickly lay down here so you want to lay down your entrance you can build this on a floor and that would be much easier so you've got your push plate and then this block is for the opening and closing doors and then these are your pistons so i'll just grab some normal piston and then sticky piston you need six here six here and then normal piston like that and then another two blocks floating and then two more pressure plates by the way i'm making this one this one with the six like here so yeah um once you've got that done you want to put two blocks out and then put a torch and that should extend then you want to put a block on top of that so it should all extend do that for like all of them whoops like that and then also on this side so let me just quickly do it like now you've got that done you want to put out your you want to put two redstone torches on here and then two redstone torches on here so they're on like either side, on either side of the side. So now you've got that, you want to run repeaters into that. Like that. And then I would do that for the same thing. Like that. You want to put a block above the repeater and put redstone dust onto it. Like that. And then once you've got that done, you want to look over, check the video, check this video, and see if it is all correct once you've got that you want to put blocks on either side and put redstone dust and then just link it to the bottom of the pressure plates on either side like that so you want it all linked up so i'll just quickly link it up on every plate so once you've got that done you actually need to insert a pulse extender so you want to put a repeater facing in like that and then four like that and then put a redstone dust like that so they're all facing that way and that goes that way 
So yeah, that acts like a pulse extender, like that. So you've got those two, let's test it out. That works perfectly fine. And then you want to try the other side. So then the other side, you also need pulse extenders, like that. So once you've got that, you want to test it out on both sides, see if it works. And somehow that side is opening faster than the other side, but soon this glitch will be fixed after you've laid down everything. So then you want to put down your next, next calling again. So yeah, you want to put your sticky pistons like that onto the side of those torches. It should push you back. And then you want to fill in those gaps. And then put, also put a block on top of those um, torches. So now you've got that done, you want to do on to the other side, like this. And then I'll just quickly do it. Wait up. Okay, this is really hard to put down. Um, let's put another one here. So now, yeah, excuse me. Now you've got that done, you want to lay them all out, and that should be you done. So let's just test it out, and you can fill in your gaps by yourself. I'll just fill it in for the sake of making a video. So now you want to fill in your gates and decoration, and most likely cover up with half slabs, because I like half slabs, especially stone. So yeah, so now you've got this perfect door running on both sides, perfect. So now I've got my pressure plates back and my platform back, so now we're on the second tutorial, which is much more complicated. So basically, as you can see, I'll just test it out again, it's very very cool. So. I'm going to lay down my three opening doors, the opening doors, that's what I would call them. So I'll just lay down these first, the floor, and then measure out which ones are going to be the elevator. So, like that, you want to lay them out like that, and then put another one here. So there's going to be two of those elevators, and then three of those doors. So here will be the pressure plate, so you want to mark that out, I'll give you some time to do that, and once you have done that, you want to put stick pistons like that, like on the side. So extend two blocks out, and put two sticky pistons facing in, and then you want to do that for three, three places, actually six places, so like one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'll just quickly do that, um, maybe I'll do it on camera, so yeah, one more to go, okay, so now you've got all that set up, you want to put one more block, extended one block out on each side, and then put a torch in the places. And then put a block on top of them. So then they're all getting powered. As you can see there. Then. By the way I haven't memorized this. So it's pretty hard. Um, you want to put a block. Inside of it. I think. Oh crap. Okay. So you want to take these below the pistons. And then you want to come down. And put a redstone dust. A piece of redstone dust. So let's quickly do that. And then put a block next to it. Like that. On the side of that redstone. So you've got that done. You want to do it onto the other side. So then take away these. And then come down. And then put redstone. And then come down. And then put redstone. And then come down, and then put redstone, and then put a block on the side. Yep, once you've got that done, you want to, let me see, you want to 
Okay, on the first one, you want to put a repeater, set it to two ticks running into that one. Then you want to put another two blocks next to them, like this, like, W shape. Then you want to set those to two ticks. So, you've got a repeater facing in like that. Then you've got another repeater facing in like that, and then to another one. So they're all connected, actually. So once you want to try that out by putting all these for redstone dust, I think. Yep, and then standing on that. That should all open in the sequence. And so you want to do it to the other side, which is like that. And then put a W shape, and then set it to two ticks. So let's test it out. So that opens very nicely. And I'll just put these blocks in, because it looks a bit nicer. Um, so now you've got that, you want to put your double piston elevators in. So you want to climb inside, go to the other side, and put torches down, actually. Put torches here, and then put torches up here. So above those two repeaters, and then put them on either side. And let's see if that works. As you can see, and then you want to test it out, see if it works, and it works. So that's your tutorial done. It's easier than you think, but this is only one way. Let me just tell you that. It's only one way. It doesn't work for the other side yet, because these repeaters are only facing that way, not that way. So this, you can leave it at that if you want to make it one way, and yeah, I'll just... Keep watching if you want to make it both sides. So what you want to do is you want to go to the other side and then put two redstone dust and then extend it out a bit like that. And let me see what's happening. Okay, so once you've got that, these redstone showing, you want to cover it up like that. Then you want to put repeaters facing out and then into a block yep into a block and then into redstone dust and then you want to line it out so you're like that and then fill that with redstone it's kind of getting complicated and i've just hit a lag spike so where am i okay i'm here so we've got that done for the other side and you want to do it for this side as well Let's go here and then mark it out like that. So then when you hit it, you should actually get a post going that way and onto both sides. So then you want to put a block like here and there, so like that. And then you want to put that into one tick, two tick, and four tick. I know that's not even, but who cares? It still looks good. So then you want to do it for the same, 4 ticks, 2 ticks, and 1 tick. So that should be done, I think, for this one. Yeah, it's, it's working fine for both ways, it looks ultra cool, and it's awesome. So thank you guys for watching, hope you give this a like, and of course, check out Fennelman, because his awesome and this build could not be created without him. And the concept he has made up is just awesome. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.